Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a review on Team Gantt. If you haven't heard of Team Gantt already, it's an awesome project management software, and I'll leave a link in the description below to sign up for it today. Anyways, let's get right into the review. As you can see here, this is the first project page that you'll be introduced to as soon as you sign up for Team Gantt. I think it's very sleek, and you can also easily manage your projects from here. As you can see, I have my testing project and my YouTube project. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I set up for my YouTube project and walk you through the entire process. Um, but before I get into that, I want to show you how to add other users to your account so that you can collaborate with your peers. From this page, all you need to do is go to the upper right corner, click on the drop down bar, go to account settings, and click on manage people. From here, you are able to add and remove any people to your projects. Once you get to the manage people tab, all you have to do to add new people is to go to the upper right hand side where it says add new person, click on that button, and just go through any emails or phone numbers that you need to contact anybody, click on add person, and they'll be automatically added to your projects. You can also toggle whether or not you want them to see certain projects. You can also restrict them from accessing certain things in your projects. For instance, one time I wanted to uh, have some other people on my account so that they could see my calendar, but I didn't want them to be able to edit my calendar. So what I did is I allowed them to view my calendar and view all the events that I had coming up, but they weren't actually able to edit anything, so I could keep all of my stuff secure while they were able to view it. So once you have set up your first project, this will be the first dashboard that you get introduced to. Although it looks daunting at first, it is very easy to customize and organize any tasks that you may want to place on your schedule. On the left side of the screen, I have a list of groups and subsequent tasks that are named, and on the right side you can easily see the corresponding starting dates and deadlines of those events. You can easily edit the name, event length, and deadline by simply clicking on any of the text or by clicking on the blue lines. One of my favorite parts about Team Gantt is how it gives you a broad dashboard here, but also allows you to hone in and edit each part. The first tab I want to go over is the List tab. Similar to the left side of the dashboard, it brings up a detailed list of any ongoing projects under their respective categories. Just like on the dashboard, you can edit the names, dates, and assign tasks to any of the collaborators you added to your project. It's super helpful for staying organized, and my favorite thing about this tab is that it allows you to add as many people as you want to individual tasks, and it's very easy to customize. Now, the next tab I want to talk about is the Calendar tab. It's very helpful with staying organized because each of your peers can choose how they view their personalized calendar. For instance, I like to have my calendar show the full month's worth of tasks and projects, but some of my coworkers prefer to view the weekly calendar. You can also toggle which tasks are being shown on your calendar by clicking on the upper right filter button and choosing which people's groups or which people's tasks you wish to see. Next up is the Discussions tab, which I only want to touch on briefly. Think of it as an online group messaging system that's built into Team Gantt, such as services like Skype and WhatsApp. Although many people have better alternatives for group communication, Team Gantt still offers an online chat room for your use if you prefer it. Lastly is the People tab. The People tab is simply where you add new people to your project if you haven't already added them to your account already. As I showed you earlier, you can add users to your account by going to the upper right corner and managing your account. However, if you want to just add people to a certain project, you can still invite them from here. All you need is their phone number or their email, and they will be invited to um, edit your project through Team Gantt's email or messaging service. On one last note before I conclude the video, I think Team Gantt excels at providing an online workspace, but it can take a little time to get used to. If you're looking for a beginner software that is just as organized and more personable than Team Gantt, check out Rike. I made a review of Rike as well, which will be linked in the description below along with the sign-up link. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my review on Team Gantt, and be sure to use the link in the description below to sign up for yourself. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.